hi friends so in this video we are going to go quickly through the basics of a drone this type of drone is called dji i think some of you know that this is a high precision drone this is not a toy drone it is a professional drone when you have got yourself a new drone in the bag you find the drone itself the charging pod containing either one battery two or three it depends on what you ordered for if you ordered for a fly more combo that means you'll get three batteries then you also find the remote controller three usb cables these usb cables are designed to be compatible with all types of phones for example iphone and android in the bag you also find a small screwdriver to do some repairs when it is necessary repairing is necessary for example when you crash it and you need to replace the propellers because at times they always get spoiled whenever you crash it in the bag you also find like two pairs of extra propellers this is the first view impression of the drone it has something that is made of rubber that covers it this is how you open it you got to be careful while opening so that you don't damage the propellers it looks pretty cool and portable so from this point you have to go ahead and open the legs the donor part of the the drone has some small holes for cooling purposes it also has some two more holes at the back where the downward sensors are located plus some two more holes located at the front of the drone for cooling purposes as well always remove the camera glass that protects the gimbal before operating the drone starting the drone without removing this will cause the gimbal to get stuck and the drone does not fly when the gimbal is stuck open the back of the drone then install one battery from the charging pod these batteries are very identical and you can install any to use in the drone and they are interchangeable between the dji mini 2 dji mini 2 se and dji mavic mini after that you close the back end of the drone to turn on the drone at the downer part quickly press the first time then the second time long press the drone will turn on when the drone is turned on the camera gimbal will go up and down and sideways that's all about turning on the drone now let's go to the remote controller this remote controller is called n3 rc1 and it has enhanced wi-fi compared to the first models of dji in theory this thing can transmit data 6 miles away with no obstructions on the remote controller install your phone as shown then look for the dji fly up and then open it it should display like that connect the usb cable that connects the remote controller to the phone then put the controller knobs onto the remote controller where they are supposed to be you just tie them on the knob like tying a screw the system will initialize and the remote controller will start to connect with the drone. When the connection is successful, the images captured on the drone will be shown on the phone screen. The image quality on the screen is very clear. This is a 2.7K at 30 frames per second. Of course, this cannot beat earlier models of DJI, for example, those that shoot at 4K 60 frames per second. But this image quality should be pretty decent for a beginner. Now, the next part was to look for a setting that calibrates the drone's compass. Under the control settings, I scrolled through until I found it. Now you press the button on the screen that says start. Here you have to roll the drone horizontally until it says done on the screen. After that you have to do the same and roll the drone vertically until it says done. Now the drone's compass is calibrated. You have to do this before you start flying. So that the drone's algorithm that is in the circuitry uses the GPS with great accuracy. When everything is done it's time to take off. Here at the surface where I was it was not favorable for the drone to take off. That's why it is really advanced advisable to buy a landing pad it looks like a waste of money but it's really worth it during these scenarios i handed it over to my friend to do the takeoff because for me i initially knew how to fly it when the takeoff ground is not clear you have to put your palm under the drone like this make sure your fingers do not touch the gimbal now position it so that when it flies does not knock your face like this now this is the position how you should launch your drone when you don't have a landing pad now on the controller there is one way of launching the drone by pushing the joysticks down but we will go through that later in the video the easiest way to launch a drone is to press the left arrow facing up in the middle of the phone screen after pressing it it brings another arrow in the middle of the phone screen then from here you have to press your fingers in the middle of the phone screen from here the drone will activate its propellers and take off that's very easy to do right
as you can see this drone is very very stable because it is a high quality drone from DJI the number one drone company in the world from here you can go through the controls to familiarize yourself with the drone and flying a high precision drone like this is very easy because it looks like playing a video game it has a high response time for every action you do on the remote controller and it is the most fun I've ever seen in this world now let me take over and show you the controls on the remote controller how everything works now from here let me adjust the drone so that the camera catches both the drone and the remote controller now from here you can see it very clearly the left joystick on the remote controller is either used to make the drone fly up down or to rotate it horizontally depending on the direction you have chosen the right joystick is used for other controls like your roll pitch or flying in front or backwards on the phone screen you can go to settings and adjust how fast or how slow the drone receives controls from the remote controller. There is also another button in the middle of the remote controller. On this button there is an option of sign mode, normal mode and sports mode. When you choose sign mode the drone acts and moves very slowly. In normal mode it moves a bit faster but in sports mode it moves very fast. Really really fast as you can see. There are also some more buttons on the remote controller. For example, this knob is used to tilt the camera up or down. The FN button is used to tilt the camera up when it was down or to tilt it down when it was up. There is also another button on the right side of the remote controller. This one is used to record videos directly from the drone to your phone. There is also another button right before the right joystick. This one is used to take pictures. Or sometimes instead of using those buttons you can just tap on the screen. On the phone screen there is an option of taking pictures and an option of taking videos. It's upon you to choose. Another important part about the drone here is the map. This one is very useful for example when the drone is out of your sight. Or sometimes when it crashes or it loses battery. And in most cases when the drone's battery drops below critical levels, the drone is forced to land automatically. Another important thing to know is that you can land the drone on your palm. Here you press the landing button on the phone screen and place your palm right below the drone. The drone will land on it. This is pretty cool and is very important. For example in places where landing is not possible. Especially like water bodies. Now here is another way of launching the drone instead of using the phone screen. Here you press the two joysticks down and this will activate all the propellers now here to lift the drone gently you have to push the left joystick in front now here the next thing about this drone is that this drone is very stable it uses modern GPS to mark its current location with great accuracy so even if you push it in any direction it always comes back to where it is supposed to be now another tip about landing the drone is to hold it and tilt it quickly you have to hold it quickly because if you delay, the sensors can detect your hand and forces the drone to go up. For example like this. Now another thing to get used with the drone is to keep practicing. You have to keep practicing to familiarize yourself with the controls. But especially if you are a beginner, you have to fly the drone while keeping the special line of sight. This means you have to fly while being able to see the drone with your eyes, instead of looking only at the screen. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or learned something new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.